Hi, my name is Tracy Matthews of Flourish and Thrive Academy, and I'm here today to talk about three steps to honor yourself during the holidays. We're almost there. It's the final holiday stretch and you're probably incredibly exhausted, just like I am, after running around shipping lots of holiday jewelry orders. Every year without fail, Christmas comes around and I'm burned out. I've been running around, working on client orders, filming for Flourish and Thrive Academy, and somehow managing to plan for 2015 in the midst of an IRS audit like no other. More on that in the new year. Can you relate? Everything seems to come all at once, leaving you exhausted, depleted, and stressed. When it rains, it pours. If you feel frazzled and burned out by the time the actual holidays come around, it's especially important to take some time to honor yourself and acknowledge your hard work. Today, I'm gonna to take you through the three steps to honor yourself during the holidays. The first step is acknowledgement. Acknowledge what you did well. 2014 was an awesome year. Put self-judgment aside and acknowledge your accomplishments. What did you do well this year? How did you end up with your sales? What areas in your life and business flourished and thrived? It's easy to get down on yourself for not making this goal or ending up the year a different way than you expected. Let go of your expectations and feel proud of all that you did accomplish. All right, I'm gonna start just to have a little fun practice. I acknowledge that I achieved my goal of having a waiting list for jewelry clients. I acknowledge that I made a lot of people happy with my jewelry this year. I acknowledge that I sold one of the most expensive designs in my career this year. I acknowledge that I made some tough decisions and changes in both of my businesses that were difficult, but for the best in the long run. I acknowledge that I took some big risks to level up in my life. I acknowledge that I'm making a difference in many people's lives. I could continue on, but I'd like to start acknowledging yourself. Dig deep. Now it's time to partay. The second step is celebration. We forget all too often that part of life is celebration. When things get hectic, it can be really easy to forget to celebrate our successes. Sometimes our celebrations might be in how we handled a situation or that we surpassed our sales goal, landed a new dream client, or even that we got over a self-limiting belief. What went really well this year? What are you so excited for? Where did you kill it? Here are a few of my celebrations to inspire you. I designed engagement rings for 20 Apple couples this year. Woohoo! I met three dream clients at a wedding and immediately designed pieces for them. That was so fun. We launched several new courses and designed a new website that we love. We have an awesome community of designers committed to supporting each other. We love you and we're celebrating you all the time. I spent five weeks with my family throughout the year. I wrote in my journal and meditated almost every day. Celebrations can be as tiny as treating yourself to a latte or as big as landing your biggest sale of the year. Now it's your turn. Let's celebrate some of your successes. The final step is honoring yourself this year by taking care of yourself. Replenishment is key. It's all about filling yourself back up and taking exquisite self-care. When we are trying to build a container for more success or for a jewelry business that supports the lifestyle we desire, replenishing yourself is very important. You can take care of yourself in many ways. Maybe it's ending work at a reasonable hour each day or treating yourself to a mani-pedi every other week. Here are a few ways I replenish myself and take exquisite self-care. I get bi-monthly mani-pedis. Once a week, I get a chair massage at the local nail salon. I journal and meditate every morning. I make plans with my friends and family at least three to four times a week. I go to dance class and practice yoga. I drink green juice or a green smoothie almost every day. I laugh a lot and I enjoy my afternoon tea. Hopefully you have lots of ideas about how to honor yourself this holiday season. Most importantly, take some time off. Now it's your turn. In the comments below, I wanna hear the following. List two to three things that you're acknowledging and celebrating this year. And then tell me at least one way you're gonna take exquisite self-care of yourself within the next week. If you found this video useful, make sure you like the video and follow our channel. Share it with your friends. And then pop on over to flourishthriveacademy.com for more jewelry business advice and free training.